Okay, well, the last piece of stream died because the game crashed. So I got back in, got back to the same spot. That's the same ship. This is the 600 series. And where the last segment stopped is right at the... Uh, trying to get on the elevator. There's somebody standing here. All right, let's see if this will work now. Go to the lower deck. Hopefully it'll work. There we go. So this is a multi-crew ship. Well, you could do it when you could fly it solo, but it's really meant for multiple people. This would be the owner's quarters. Um, likely also the captain's quarters, if you're flying it solo or with just a few people, but it uh, doesn't have to be. You can stick the captain back. This view, imagine sleeping here and waking up in the morning to this view. Wrap around view or whatever your ship's front is looking at. Hopefully a nicer view than a convention center. But uh, I just love the uh, style and aesthetic here. Very sleek, definitely uh, luxurious, but um, looks really nice. The bathroom, automatic sliding door, you got it. Huge shower, a non-retractable toilet. Look at that. <laughs> so uh, perfect for when we see people here. All right, and then moving further back, we have a sort of a, a living area, I guess, with a glass floor again to look at whatever planet or moon the ship is landed on. Uh, plants everywhere. That staircase going up. Um, this opens up to four suites with unsweet heads. Uh, so that's suite number one, two, three. They're all basically identical. Uh, very, very interesting. I guess this one's got TV up here. This one does not. I don't know if the TV pops up. It, oh, I wonder if it does pop up. There. Yeah, it does. Look at that. I never even noticed that. It has a pop-up TV. And there's the fourth one. And then, uh, this is, uh, I think this is where we came in, right? Yeah. This is, oh no, this is uh, upstairs. So this is actually looking at the bridge. Again, great panoramic views. You can't see where the glass is even here. It's just so clear. And then the displays are all projected holographically out to the front. Uh, so if we go back, go through here. So we are on the second floor right now. So if we go over here. And then this takes us to, what is this? Oh, this is, um, I guess this is the armory. Yeah, this would be the armory. And then this is the bar area, bar, kitchen. So you've got a very well-stocked bar with a... Better not be wearing a skirt here, I guess. If you're uh, serving drinks up. And then this goes down here. Again, just glass everywhere. Uh, nice little area for people to sit around wraparound bench and then this goes down a level got a little TV viewing here pool table if you want to play a little pool aboard the ship and then a, uh, a food area uh, with a fairly sizable kitchen and of course the gold inlaid marble which is great so not meant for a huge number of people, but very, very nice. And then two doors on the sides here. These, I believe, are storage. Yep. So this is where whatever ship the ship is carrying would be stored. And then this is components back here, I believe. Yep. That's where you have access to a variety of uh, modules and components. Right through this area. Nice. 
So, it is, I don't think it's the best laid out ship. They're actually going to be changing the layout a little bit on the interior, but it is definitely luxurious. No two ways about that. And then uh, we have the, have the elevator down. Actually, I guess we could take the stairs. Don't have to take the elevator. Um, and down here we have crew quarters and uh, crew hangers, crew bathrooms. Uh, so things are a little cheaper looking down here. So let's get out of this ship. And this is a 600, so the next one we're going to look at is the, uh, the 800. And that's the big boy over here. Now you can see how much this is the ship we're just in and how big it is on the inside. This guy is way big. This is a multi-crew, uh, multi... Okay, there we go. That's the cargo bay. This is the... the elevator. So huge. Can I call it? Can go? Hello. Okay. Okay, so it's just a nice one upstairs. Let's go in here. Go up. There's only one choice there. And it goes way up, so it actually, this elevator goes to the, the very top deck of the ship. So, these are not obviously just for sitting around, they all fly. Much as I flew to the city earlier, there's missions, there's a variety of things to do here. Um, oh yes, we have docking rings, and that's, it's actually... It's open right now, so you can see out from it. You can see how high up we are here. It's insane. Alright, and then let's find... This is the... Uh, I guess this is the main sort of staircase for drinking champagne under the stars. Haha! <laughs> that is crazy. And then if we go all the way up to the top here, we have little nice little viewing areas here and then this is the bridge so the amazing thing is this ship is still only piloted by three people so you need a bigger crew but most of that crew will be serving drinks and serving food the crew to actually fly the ship is just three people Pretty amazing um, but if we go down here we go down to this level I believe there's a bar here. So there's, let's see what we have here. It's a nice little aquarium. Oh, okay, so this is a very large stateroom with a private bathroom. Uh, private shower. Huge shower. Now here's the elevator. So we have foyer, bar, lounge, dining, spa, pool, and hangar. So this, I think, is the bar. Yep. This is the bar area. This is another person who came to the ship, so he's not going to serve his drinks, but that's pretty wild. Now this, I think, goes... This is the crew section. This is the kitchen. Commercial kitchen. So elevator goes to all the same places. And then more, more wraparound bar area here. Great windows and views everywhere. Just absolutely beautifully designed yacht. It's really a definition of luxury yacht. Here's the second bar, because you can never have too many bars. 
and look at this table. Holy cow, the formal dining room. Wow, is that amazing? Tremendous views all the way around. There's people walking around looking at the ship as well. Hoping to one day own something like this. Alright. So let's leave here and take the elevator and go to the one level down, so it should be the spa and pool level. Yes, there is a pool on this spaceship. It is a yacht. It's a super yacht. So why would it not have a spaceship? Or why would, why would it not have a swimming pool? Uh, very nice. And uh, they do turn on lights with ultraviolet here, so you can actually lay out and get a tan. And it will be brighter by the pool, but it is completely controlled to be able to do it anytime. Pretty amazing. Uh, now, let's see what we have here. Oh, so I guess changing rooms, sort of. Uh, more. Oh, this, this is a spa. Oh, sauna. There we go. Got it. Yes. Got to have a sauna aboard. In fact, uh, multiple saunas aboard a ship. You can have your own little private sauna here. Oh, and look at this. Look at this hot tub with the uh, waterfall. Aboard a spaceship. Yep. That's where we're at. <laughs> Pretty amazing. Pretty amazing. All right, so that we've been there, we've been here. Uh, that's the, the saunas. Now this is this section. Okay, so that's still in the same area, but this is below where we went in. All right, very cool. Now uh, escape pods, escape shuttle. That's useful stuff. Hopefully you never need it, but oh, Jeffrey suit. Uh, but if you do need it, it's there. Uh, where's that elevator? I want to take it down one more level. I guess it was up in front of this pool. Wait, where was the elevator? Um, no, it, it came in here. The elevator was right here. There we go. So we can go to crew kitchen. So that's there we go. And I like how it spins as it goes up and down. So this shows a little bit of the crew side. You can see just plain white plastic walls, stainless steel, large kitchens for for cooking for everybody here. Uh, crew, crew quarters, crew lounge. Everybody's got their own little private room. Very nice. Very impressive. Crew bathrooms. Uh, this ship will have a sizable crew. But like I said, it still only requires three people to, uh, to be able to fly. Crew wreck area. Look at this. A crew wreck area with a pool table, uh, fridge for drinks, uh, video games. Very impressive. And this is an airlock. Really? Oh, it's the airlock to the front. Okay. So, the front of the ship. Of course, you have a basketball court. Why wouldn't you have a basketball court? Not a full-size court, but pretty good. And then look at this. This is the shuttle, um, shuttle bay area ramp. <laughs> Makes up. Okay, I can see you basically. Basketball court gets bigger this way than in place, but look at this. This whole section, and the roof's closing. This whole section allows you to land a shuttle, bring it down here. And when I say shuttle, I mean like a mid sized spaceship. Like the 100, the 300, I don't think the 400 would fit in here. It's a little big, but certainly the. Uh, 
I guess we're going to take a ride up. Certainly the 300 series fits in here. You probably put two or three 300 series. And then raises it so that the shell can take off. Well, look at these defenses. We've got some pretty sizable missiles. Nice missile racks. And then up front here, this is a uh, a gun installation. And uh, when we go down, I'm gonna bring this platform back down. And you can you can see the bar we were in earlier. Uh, go down. There we go. At the very front, I believe, is access to that gun platform. Turret access. There we go. Oh. oh, open up. There we go. Let's see what that looks like. There we go, look at that. <laughs> wow. That is very impressive. Um, let me switch to the outside viewpoint. So this is the. Come on. Oh, can I not do. Oh, I guess I can look at the top of the ship, but I can't look at where I'm at right now. Oh well. Anyway, you can see where this thing popped out. It's right in front of that uh, raising uh, area. Area that was raised. out through the loading ramp now this is this is the ramp for the uh, uh, for the ships coming in shuttles coming in where's the oh I'm at the wrong corner here now let's go back to the back of the ship again airlock Waiting area for the shuttle. We have med bay. Ship this size, you gotta have a med bay. So we've got a nice medical bed here. A digital medical assistant. In fact, uh, I'm gonna lie down here for a sec. Just double check, make sure my stats are good. Uh huh. Let it do an analysis. Uh huh. Medical care. No injuries. That's good. Everything's good. All right. Good enough. Okay. Let's leave this area. Taking that elevator already. Got some guns in here. Okay, okay, this this is on the way out to the the outside hangar. What is this thing? It's another elevator. It's a lot of elevators in this ship. Notice that. I don't know where this one can go. This one can go to crew engineer. Okay, so this is a crew elevator basically. Um wait, did I open? There we go. I was going to go down here. This. There we go. There's the loading ramp for this ship. It is humongous. You get multiple vehicles on there. And when the ramp's down, you can see we've got a glass floor covering things up. But let's go ahead and bring the ramp up. 
that they're just calling an elevator. That is pretty quick. So that seals it in. At this point, lets the air in, equalizes everything in case you're out in the environment, and then opens this up and further raises the uh, the ramp the platform to be even here. So you could leave everything on here. In fact, you probably usually would, um, unless you're bringing in food supplies and whatnot. Or you could just move things along for more storage. This is access to something. I'm not sure what this is. It's clearly a very uh, important piece of the ship. Uh, life support systems. All right, so we'll actually take this down because I want to leave this in the down position for other people to look at. So it goes down. We're still technically in the ship's atmosphere. I was going to close that glass roof over us. Now it's going to equalize atmospheres or vent the atmosphere if we were outside with the outside. And at this point, it's just lowering itself to the very bottom. There's the uh, elevator that we came up and the vision. Big ship, giant yacht, pleasure yacht can be flown with just three people but man you probably need another three to ten support crew for cooking and serving meals and then uh, another uh, well I think up to a dozen guests um, or it could just be used as a very expensive way for one person or one family the landing foot for this thing is absolutely gigantic. It's about the size of this 125 series. The first one we looked at. That is crazy. <laughs> That's such a huge difference. Ship for one, ship for more than one. Okay, so that is that is Origin. Believe it or not, that's just one of the manufacturers that makes ships for this game. And uh, now I'm going to go back and take the elevator to the hall that's housing the second manufacturer that is currently exhibiting. And they rotate every day there's a new company exhibiting here. Now, if you're still watching, uh, definitely uh, let me know if I can answer questions and or if you want to sign up for the game if you haven't been playing this game uh, there's a, um, a code you can use that'll be in the description which will get you some free money when you first start using the game and it gets me something as well I can't remember what it gets me at this point it's not money it's it's some kind of in-game something or other that I get out of it but if you are signing up for the first time, that'd be cool for you uh, to get something and for me to get something out of it. Um, obviously, if you're playing a game, you already know exactly what what you're here to see, what you're doing. You probably you know, you've been here, and you're just watching this to see if I notice something different that you haven't seen, perhaps. So this is Drake. Drake is a, it's a little more of an industrial manufacturer. In fact, the ship I flew in in the first video is a ship manufactured by Drake. And uh, these are some larger ships by Drake. Let's see, what have they got? Um, oh, okay, all four. So these are pretty darn big. Let's go look at the small ships that Drake has first. I like to start small and then go big. Drake ships have a bit of a reputation of being used by pirates. But that's not to say that Drake makes ships for pirates. It's just they make cheap ships. And uh, ships that can be easily uh, fixed along the way. So this is the Cutlass line. Cutlass steel, which is not painted. It's like it's made of stainless steel. There's a red one there. That's a medical version. Here's a blue one, Cutlass Blue. 
and that is a police version. And then way in the back there, in gray, kind of gray black. That is kind of more gray than black. I always thought it was black. That's that's known as the Cutlass Black. You know, it's gray. So let's start over here. Take a look at this Cutlass Steel first. This is the probably uh, each one serves a different niche. This one's closest to a helicopter, I would say, like a military helicopter. It has like. A lot of these uh, machine guns, um, these spinning turret guns. This has a lot of seats for deploying troops. And look at that, it's got multiple guns. I think we can even, yeah, there we go, deploy. And uh, retract, deploy. Okay, we well, get the idea. So basically, as this thing is approaching its its uh, landing zone, you've got guys on the miniguns just shooting at anything that's moving. You can see stylistically, this is a lot closer to the ship that I flew in on. Things are kind of exposed. There's not, it's not all clean and nice the way that the Origin ships are. Everything is a little dirty, <laughs> a little basic. Uh, turret up there. And then we have the pilot and the co-pilot sitting very much like a helicopter. And that's this this front area is gonna be identical on all of these ships. Let me just jump right out of here. There we go. Just jump right up. Uh, the uh, the red version is sort of an ambulance. Same cockpit area, but different in the back. In the back we have an airlock with a little bit of storage, not a whole lot. But then we have some medical beds for airlifting injured personnel, or actually even uh, fixing minor problems for them. You can see this is pretty much the same. Uh, this also has uh, airlocks. Instead of having... I'll just jump out of there. Uh, so a little different use case than just wide open sliding doors. This is the black, which is the basic version. This version also has sliding doors. This is really more of a cargo variant. I think it's the cheapest one of the bunch. So it just has a large cargo platform. Nothing special, nothing extra. And then the final one here. That's the blue which is the police and bounty hunting version. Probably used by more bounty hunters than police. Small loading area in the back here. Airlock. And these, you can tell by looking inside of this one, these are containment pods for prisoners. Yes, that's right. You can store six prisoners on each side of this ship for a total of 12 prisoners. You're isolating them for their own good, mind you. Front, I think, is going to be exactly the same as the other versions. Yep. Pretty much the same. Although this does have a better canopy, I feel like. It's a one-piece canopy. Makes it a little cleaner looking. Easier to see out of than the other versions. All right. Oh, come on. Let's, uh, can we open this? Where's that? Eh. Is this one open? What am I missing? Oh, is there a button? These should be opening. I'm not sure why that's not opening. I am... It's probably... some Something's locked and there's probably a button somewhere that I just don't know. <laughs> it just leaves through the back. There we go. Yeah, because this is actually open already out here in the airlock. So, that's these. Um, the cutlasses. Let's see what else they've got.
I just love the fact that even the carpet in this game is just very realistic. Like, it looks like an actual car show convention. There we go. There's some more Drake ships. Aha. Uh -huh. This unusual guy that looks like a harvester. Well, it kind of is, I guess. It's a... Um, it's a reclamation ship, which is to say it strips other ships and then makes, um, wow, can we, can we, there we go, use ladder, climb up here, and it, uh, takes the scrap and packages away. These are like vacuum cleaner hoses that you see. So, can we get in here? Uh, yes we can. Cool. All right, it, it really looks like a combine or a harvester in a lot of ways, but um, let's see. open exterior, close exterior, exit ship, exit the rear. Oh, interesting. This will actually spin around. So we got into the side. We can come into the ship in the back. Oh, look at that. There's a the little tiny Drake shower and uh, combination shower toilet. Uh, did that not work? Did that not work? I thought I clicked it. Well, that's that's the toilet that should lower. I don't know why it's not lowering. Um, very typical of these types of ships. You can see no money gets spent at all on trying to make it look nice. It's extremely industrial, a little bit grungy even. But it gives you the basics. The kitchenette, right next to access to components, right next to the kitchenette. Well, at least you can close them. So that's good. So they're not just sticking right out at you. And then uh, if we leave, uh, get a little out of here, a little closet area, quantum drive. Can I open this? Oh, oh yeah. That opens up. Okay. So let's close this up. And then go downstairs. And where are we? What is this? Oh. 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 Don't want to there. Nope. Turn around. There we go. This gets us uh, into the cargo. And this is where it compresses all that stuff. From stripping the uh, the hole, and I guess it just compresses it like a trash compactor, and then it slides out here, and it has a small cargo area for holding that stuff here, and then you slide down, take it down off the ramp, and it's kind of like your garbage collector, a little, a little bit of a garbage ship, I guess. Um, although, really, you're recycling metal, so it's not really garbage. Oh, uh, here's the little guy that I flew in here on. And I don't know why they have three of them. They're identical. Little, very small cargo area in the back. Little sleeping area. Bathroom over here. And the cockpit up front. So, very, very basic, very utilitarian, but it works, and that's the important part, it fits almost anywhere, has a very good fuel supply, where you can fly a long distance. Now, this is this crazy insect looking ship, which is really a cockpit strapped onto an engine. <laughs> it's a, not much else here besides a cockpit and an engine. Uh, it's a very fast ship. It's called an infrarunner. It's meant for a really high speed, at least in one direction. Um, let's see, I don't want to rent it. I want to get into it. Yeah, all of these are rentable right now. This is the inside. You've got a pilot seat. Again, very grungy, very. Not really worried about what it looks like, just focused on the getting the bits that it has to have, which makes it lighter, a little bit faster. Uh, it's a one-man ship, no real kitchen, barely a sink. 
and I guess and uh you know a, a toilet with no uh no door perfect so it really is a one-man ship uh, but it does have two seats one to fly it then one to do whatever you're going to be doing on the computer which I think is is like listening in on communications from your enemies this is like a information gathering ship let's just say and it's meant to get in really fast and then get out really fast. Uh, this is a fighter that Drake makes. I've never actually been inside this thing, but you know, it's a fighter like most fighters. I'm sure it's uh, not very different. I'm not gonna bother getting in there. Fighter. All right. So that's all the small guys. And we just have the two larger ships left that were in the main area. And this one coming into view right now is a cargo hauler that is called a caterpillar. It's called a caterpillar, as you can see because it has a whole bunch of legs and it's long and skinny and I don't really like the shape of this thing a lot of people really like it I'm not, I'm not sure why um, you get into it it actually has a decent amount of guns as well but it, it is very much an industrial ship so everything on this ship will be industrial looking And it's confusing. It's easy to get lost, lost in this thing. Alright, so... All the way. Engineering access. Oh yeah, definitely engineering access. So if we don't go there... Uh, elevator, I think we're looking for a ladder to go up. Is there one here somewhere? No. Habitation access, okay. Oh, here we go. Yep. Out in the open, got some bunks, got a table to eat, watch some TV, or potentially monitor some areas of the ship. Super industrial basic kitchen setup. Yep. Uh huh. And uh, let's see what else. What if we walk through here, we get into the cargo bays. So this ship is basically all cargo bays. Let me just open that up. There are multiple cargo bays. They're all identical. They open up like this. And theoretically, they actually can swap out this whole section that's green. Uh, both sides can actually slide out. And then a different section could be popped in. Um, theoretically. But in its most basic form, uh, it is a uh, it's a hauler ship that's the best way to describe it is it's, it's good it's good if you want to haul things I don't know why that's not open. Uh, it seems like this goes on forever it really doesn't it eventually does come to an end this is the front of the ship it's just a long skinny ship and it's longer and skinnier than you'd think it would be um, open this door. Well, uh, I'm not gonna worry about it. You could also walk up here, upstairs, in case that these are full of cargo. Even like you're not gonna be able to walk through there, so you gotta still be able to walk across. Open. And that on the right side there, that red thing, is where the pilot sits for this ship. So that's where we're gonna go next. Dude, you gotta move back. There you go. Open. Alright. And this goes up to a turret. I believe. And this goes up to the bridge.
So you've got a couple of seats for people back there and two seats up here. So this, there you go. Sure. Go ahead and sit down, Brad. So this is how you fly it. You can't see anything to the right because you most of your ship is to the right of you. You got a decent view to your left. And this whole area is somewhat self-contained because it has two floors. And if you go down here, you can see that there's actually a shower here, a little sink, another little kitchen area, and another couple of bunks and another dining room table. And then this is the first floor. The pilot's right above me. This is below the pilot, and this would be somebody probably loading cargo remotely or at least observing cargo getting loaded. So it's kind of a neat area. Yeah, this guy can't just not be doing the same thing I am. He's just got to be here. And if we go across the other way, this is actually on the opposite side, on the other side. And this is where, I believe, this is where the um, uh, tractor beam operator would sit or stand. I guess there's no seat here. It's just standing there. Okay. Uh, stairway access. Oh, this is what I missed the first time. I was trying to find where the stairway was, but I kind of, I guess, walked around it. Because we were right here. Nope, we weren't here. We were right here in the lower hallway, but I didn't go around to the stairway. That's how you actually get up there. And there's the elevator. I'm just going to jump down here. I'm not going to wait for it to come back up. And then this is the last ship. This is the uh, the Drake. Uh, what is it called? I can't remember what it's called. Is it the call? So cancel that. I'm just trying to get an elevator going, guys. I don't need to rent anything. New, cancel, cancel. All right. Um, can I call it like this? I think I need a little finger symbol popping up here. Call. Can I be? But normally this is not an issue because this blue whole area is for renting the ship and it's only the case on ships in the expo. So it's not like this would be an issue with the ship itself. But do I, what, do I need to jump here? That is nuts. So can you call? No. Nope, that's not what we need. I don't need that. That's all. Okay, well. that do it? No. Okay. I was trying to lower the elevator that takes us into the ship. I guess we can go up the, uh, the rear stairs here, or the rear loading dock. There we go. Fairly sizable loading dock, although not as big as some of the really large multi crew ships. This is a multi crew, but it's maybe like a two or a three person multi crew. And really, you could totally fly it with one. So it has a. Uh, has an airlock over there. I'm sure a lot of people get kicked out of the airlock in the ship. Uh, different uh, crew compartments, three compartments, a little eating area, some diagnostic stuff, bathroom, the usual. You've seen this not working in other ships, not working in that one too, apparently. Uh, oh, this is the elevator in here. The one that wasn't working, I'm going to actually send it down uh, and then get out of here. There we go. So, waiting for somebody down 
they don't have to worry with the buttons. Side turrets on the side of the ship. Got two of them. And then the captain's quarters are right in the bridge here. Uh, they can close. So the captain... This is definitely not an owner's quarters. This is the captain's quarters. <laughs> it's the guy who would sit right here and fly the ship. Uh, he never has to leave the bridge. His quarters are right in the bridge. So, again, very industrial, very uh, military-looking like. Um, but an interesting aesthetic. And it's uh, all said and done. It's not a bad ship. It's got a little bit of everything. And it's not too big. Some of the ships are really big. This thing is not too big. All right, so you can see the elevator's down now. Normally, the elevator would come down when you push that button. Then you could push... Oh, in fact, you have the roof access here. So instead of going there, you would go all the way out through the roof. Like so. And I don't know why you'd want to, but it's good access to the top of your ship. Um, let's go back down to the surface. And leave this down for the next person. Is it not going to close the roof? That's weird. I guess the roof stays open. Weird. So, that, these three are all identical, so there's, we've seen one, we've seen all. Uh, I think this wraps it up for at least these two brands, which are extremely different. Drake being very rudimentary, basic, not super clean, but light and cheap. And then Origin, where all the ships are clean, luxurious, a lot of white, a lot of wood, a lot of uh, very manicured surfaces. Um, I'll do another video for, uh, for the next two brands of ships that pop up as well. Um, and if you're still here and you haven't logged in, or you haven't signed up for the game, do use the code that's in the description.